Okay, so it's raining again. Um, a lovely hangar echo we've got here. But uh, I need to write an exam this morning. And uh, I figured I'm at the airfield. Flying's not going to happen. So I'm going to fit some VGs. Been waiting for this moment for quite a while. And um, I'm confident that I've done enough stall testing in the previous two flights um, to warrant adding VGs and being able to tell the difference. So here we go, gonna go write an exam. I'll be back to fit VGs. Okay, so uh, my wing cord is 1050 millimeters. Um, Three percent of that is 31.5 millimeters, which luckily in my case works out to be this. I don't know if we can even see it where the uh, leading edge um, covering is. There's a little like sawtooth mark, it runs all the way down my leading edge here. That is 32 millimeters back, so literally. I'll suffer half a millimeter and install it behind that, the whole length. I've measured the entire length of the wing. It's exactly the same all the way back. That saves me marking the wing much easier. Cool. So we'll fit some VGs. So those VGs are on. We used the 60 millimeter spacing. And there's a 59 VGs per side. So now we've just got to go and test it. Um, next scheduled flight is uh, the cross country. So oh, maybe we'll give them a test during the cross country flip. But yeah, that's it. Both sides. And of course we put VGs on the tail, so let's go and have a look at the tail quick. There we go. VGs under the tail. Okay, so we're going to go and climb up uh, above the airfield and uh, do a whole lot of stalls with the VGs and uh, test these VGs and see how they, uh, they handle. I am, uh, well, we did a, a, a basic test with two up last weekend. Got the stall right down to 29. Two ups, four flaps, no power. Pretty cool. So we're going to try in this morning and see what we, what we get up to. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Alright, so we got two aircraft in the... 
the circuit this morning. There's a Bantam going up for some flight testing, and uh, myself, we're going to be doing stalls, uh, upper air work, and we're going to try and uh, do practice some spot landing. Uh, yeah, I got you, Papa. Yeah, I got you, Papa. I'm going to take the holding point now. Alright, so the Bantam is taking the holding point. Uh, yeah, so yeah, what else? Alpha uh, Yankee taxiing holding point, uh, runway 04. What I was uh, saying is uh, we've entered ourselves into a spot landing contest for next weekend. We we take a fox, so we're going to show people how to land a tail dragger. Well, oh, that's good, but I'm probably going to get my ass handed to me. Anyway, we'll be good, we'll be good. Yeah, oh, darling, nicely this morning, shit! You are close to stall speed. I'm gonna claim the VGs did that takeoff. Fuck me, that was epic. We're already at uh, 1200 feet in the spiral cup. That's cool. Traffic Alpha Echo Echo 2700 feet above the uh, Upcomers Airfield conducting uh, stalls. Upcomers traffic Alpha Echo Echo. Right. Into the wind. Power off. No flaps. Let's see what she does. So uh, here we go. Power off. Stall. 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 Uh, ground speed is good. Okay. Stick is back. That's 40. That's uh, no flaps. No power. And we are at uh, 36. Alright, power on, let's go around and try it again. Okay, so we try our power on, slightly power on. Power on, stall. Power on, power on. Power on. Look at that, 30, 30, 32. Woo! One notch of flaps. One notch of flaps powered off. Let's see what she does. to stall speed. I know. That's the whole plan of this exercise. Okay, so we're going to come off the power. Stop. We're going to go to full, full flaps. Power is right off. Full, full flaps stick is all the way back. And full flaps power off steady. Okay. Do we try power on? Full, full flaps power on. Stall, stall, stall. Four, four flaps power on. Four flaps power on, 27. Ah, wow. Wow, that's, that's something, eh? 27. Okay, let's go and do some, uh, Landing practice.
So, should we talk some numbers? Sorry, I'm squinting a little bit to get this a magnificent sunset happening behind us. Um, but let's, uh, let's get to some actual definitive uh, measurement of the improvement that you get with installing VGs. I must say, from the outset, worth the money. Go and do it. Stop wasting time. Put VGs on your airplane. So we're just going to show you a quick clip from doing a stall without VGs, and then we will talk numbers. 35, one last flap. So, when we did it, uh, one up, about half tanks fuel, so approximately the same um, configuration as we did with VGs. Full flap stall, no power, 30 miles an hour. No VGs, no power. It was about 30, 32 miles an hour. A little bit of power, we dropped it to 29 miles an hour um, with no, no VGs. It was pushing it. I'm not sure that was a true indication. I'm, I'm more along the 30 miles an hour line. Um, at half a flap, we were stalling in the 35 to 37 mile an hour region, and with no flap, 40 miles an hour, we were into the stall. VGs came along, no flap, we were right down below 35 miles an hour. Half a flap, we were at 28 or so, 29 miles an hour. Full flap, power on, 26 miles an hour. Now, if that isn't something that says VGs are worth it, I don't know. Go back to your couch and uh, read Marvel comics or something. But, guys, I'm hugely impressed with what VGs have done to that little plane. Remember, I don't have a massive power plant. I've got a little 582, 68 horsepower blue top. And I'm not running a 100 horse or 115 horse uh, 912 or 914. Um, so I don't have the guts to pull it into this deep stalls, but she's stalling magnificently well. One of the big key factors that I found with VGs, still massively controllable in the stall, still flies that wing quite well, um, deep into the stall with power on. And one of the incredible things that um, came to mind, well, not came to mind, came to fruition with this VG installation on the tail was full flap approach before I could never execute a three-point landing could never get the tail far enough down that I could get a three-point attitude with full flaps now full flaps on approach I managed to drag the tail wheel for a good two or three meters before the mains hit the floor energized air under the tailplane was absolutely amazing so Come back next week, we're going to a stall competition. See you guys then. And remember, of course, thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't. We'll catch you next week.